Turning to the follow-up to the provocation from up north, North Korea described its missile launch as a roaring success. South Korea's defense ministry doesn't perceive the recent launch as a failure like last one, but is skeptical of its capability of reaching the United States and being armed with a nuclear warhead. Kim Jong-soo updates us on the assessment. On Sunday at 5.30 a.m., North Korea launched an intermediate-range ballistic missile from the city of Kusang which flew about half an hour before landing in the East Sea. It was the North's seventh missile test this year, and the first since President Moon Jae-in's inauguration. And on Monday, the regime's state-run Korean Central News Agency officially declared the test a success, saying the U.S. mainland is now within the missile striking range. And it claimed that the missile, dubbed the Hwasong-12, can not only carry a large nuclear warhead, but they can also deliver and detonate it. Regarding Sunday's test, the agency claimed that the missile was launched at the highest possible angle so as not to affect the security of its neighbors, and that it reached a peak altitude of some 2,100 kilometers and covered a distance of 787 kilometers before reaching its target location. While it agreed that the regime did not exaggerate the figures related to Sunday's launch, South Korea's own defense ministry remains skeptical about the North's claims that its newest missile is ready to go nuclear. South Korea and the U.S. are in agreement regarding the missile's altitude and distance traveled. But we believe there needs to be further analysis of the missile's technological characteristics and the reliability of its engine. More specifically, the ministry claimed it is unsure at this point whether the missile equipped with a nuclear warhead would detonate at the right moment a sentiment shared by other experts. Keep in mind, a nuclear missile is different from other conventional missiles that can detonate upon impact to the surface. Distance-wise, the missile could reach the U.S., but a nuclear warhead has to be detonated at just the right altitude for maximum impact. For that, the warhead will have to be a lot more durable than the one used in Sunday's flight. Meanwhile, other experts have added to the doubts on the effectiveness and development of the Hwasong-12 as they have pointed to video footage showing how the missile was launched from a stationary system instead of the preferred and more difficult-to-predict mobile system. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.